Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now, you guys might be seeing this video a little bit after Valentine's Day, but in honor of Valentine's Day, we are going to be talking about relationships in this generation, relationships in 2023. Now, don't take me literal when I say 2023. Of course, we're going to be talking about relationships within the time span of the last couple of years that led up to this year. We're going to talk about how social media, podcasts, and even celebrities and celebrities relationships have impacted this generation y'all already know it's definitely a hot mess out here now in fact studies show that in this generation specifically celebrities and influencers have the biggest impact on this generation and what people do isn't that crazy now a lot of people even myself will say do not look up to these celebrities don't look up to their relationships don't look up to these influencers youtubers and their relationships because you never know what's going on behind the scenes right but it doesn't matter how much people are going to say that it's still going to happen why is it going to happen because social media plays a huge part in this generation and in our everyday lives so of course in some way somehow people are going to look up to celebrities and influencers so we can push aside that whole don't look up to celebrities and their relationships and stuff. Even though we shouldn't and it's not good, it still happens on a daily basis. Now, let's go ahead and get into these studies, right? Now, unfortunately, in a lot of communities and even in the Black community, it's very prevalent to not be able to see a healthy relationship or marriage while you are growing up. The effect of that is that when you are growing up and you start to experience dating and you want to get into a relationship, you really don't know what to expect because you haven't had that example to look up to when you were growing up so a lot of people don't know what's toxic what's healthy a lot of people are just winging it when they grow up and they get into relationships and that's a big reason on why relationships don't last as well because a lot of people don't know what to expect and what to do what is good what is bad what's toxic and what is healthy now that's where podcasts play a huge role in this generation as well i mean relationship and marriage podcast are some of the biggest podcasts that are out right now we all know it started off with Kevin Samuels I mean he blew up so much because people wanted advice on what to do what to accept what they should settle for and what they shouldn't settle for because obviously people just didn't know what to do in this generation sometimes that doesn't even work right so some people in this generation will go to celebrity relationships and they will look up to celebrity relationships and like we said that's not even a good thing because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes we've seen so many cute and adorable and what seem like perfect relationships just in abruptly let's go ahead and give some examples i mean chris and queen who knew things were very very toxic behind the scenes with those two the era and ken let's go ahead and talk about this real quick a lot of people were not only upset about ken for cheating but they were upset at ken because they had a lot of hope and faith in ken that if he was was loyal to Diera that he would give the example for other men to be loyal as well. Which kind of entails when these two did break up and it was posted all over the blogs, a lot of women were in the comment section saying, look, I give up all faith in men because if Ken and Diera didn't work, I don't have no faith for myself. Which is very unfortunate, but it is very true. Another relationship that ended was Tutsi and Samari. And I'm just naming some of the relationships that were very, very popular that a lot of people in this generation like. Armand and Essie. And I think a relationship that still shocks me that ended is India and Lil Durk. Now you guys can say of course we've seen this coming but for me I definitely didn't see it coming. I mean no offense to India but I still thought that even if Lil Durk was doing his mess on the side that India was going to stay because of how Lil Durk portrayed their relationship on what? Social media. It seems like Lil Durk still wants India back of course so much so that he decided to take to his Insta story to wish her a happy Valentine's Day and India is just completely fed up at this point. She was like, let it go. You are not respecting my boundaries. And it looks like India is just completely done with the situation and she has walked away. And I'm very, very proud of India. But what about the people who actually decide to stay in these toxic situationships or relationships that people still look up to? I mean, <clears throat> Krishan Rock and Blueface is one of those relationships that's very toxic, but it's shown 
on the media. And I feel bad for the generations to come that are looking up to their relationship. I mean, it was even at one point where people felt like Krishan and Blueface's relationship was funny. The fact that it was toxic was very, very cute. We all know the saying that people were just going around saying that, oh, I'm Krishan Rock over mine. Like, that was cute. What kind of example is that to set for the generations to come? And now people are wondering why relationships don't work in this generation when we're literally glorifying this whole toxic unhealthy dv relationship that goes on between krishan rock and blueface not to say that there wasn't unhealthy love and toxic relationships back then because we know that there was but i'm just talking about this generation and how social media plays a big big impact on why relationships just are not lasting and why a lot of people are getting hurt let's go ahead and get into the many options theory that it's going on because of social media when it comes to relationships when it comes to dating of course there's a lot of people and i would say specifically men some women too who feel like they have tons of options because you're on social media you see all of these different people you see all of these people following you you see all of these dms and you feel like why do i have to put up with one person's bs and all of the problems that i get with them when in reality i have all of these other options that i see on social media which is not even really the case but a lot of people believe that it's an illusion and i believe that social media in a way is kind of set up to do this to make people feel like i mean the options are endless when in reality if you have good qualities in one person you shouldn't let it go just because a couple of disagreements i mean if the relationship is toxic and unhealthy then of course you should move on but a lot of people are believing that they don't have to work hard to make things work within their relationship because they feel like they have so Susie, Tommy, and everybody else over here on social media and that they could just date them. When in reality, the people on social media may not have the same or just as good qualities as the person that you're with. And you may leave the person that you're with just to get into a relationship with another person who has worse qualities. A big question or a topic per se is, if you are in a relationship, is liking other people's pictures, is that considered cheating? Cheating? Is having a celebrity crush, is that considered cheating? There's a lot of things to factor in when we talk about social media. And that's why I say it's not like things weren't difficult back then for the older generations and their relationships. But I think that social media has made things 10 times harder. But can we get rid of social media? Will social media crash down? I don't think so. Not anytime soon. But that's why it's important that you have a partner that is strong minded, that understands just because because it looks good on social media doesn't mean it's going to be good for me and to understand that okay I'm okay and satisfied with everything that I have at home and just because it's on social media and it looks good doesn't mean that they are better than my partner but like I said it only takes a strong-minded person and not a lot of people are strong-minded but my main point of this video is to stop letting social media influence the way that you love and even the way that you do things in life Life, but this is about relationships so stop letting it influence your relationships stop listening to these podcasts if you haven't seen a love or a healthy relationship growing up don't listen to these podcasts or these videos or tiktok take your own intuition and also try to take advice from an actual healthy relationship out there i mean maybe you have some cousins and maybe you have an aunt and uncle that's been lasting ask them for some advice definitely don't look up to these celebrity couples because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and it's not really a healthy thing to do and third of all do not let social media influence you just because the grass looks greener on the other side doesn't mean that it actually is and if you're constantly disregarding people trying to find the perfect person you're going to end up realizing that nobody is perfect and you're not even perfect yourself there's a lot of people who have this illusion in their head that there's this perfect person that they are going to meet and all they have to do is scroll on Instagram, scroll on social media to find that person when in reality nobody's perfect. And whether it's 
in the beginning or the ending or the middle of your relationship, you're going to find out that person has flaws. And if you're never willing to deal with anyone's flaws, then most likely you're not going to have the perfect relationship that you actually want. Only a good relationship comes out of two people working together and working through each other's flaws. But that's the end of this video, guys. I wanted to make this video because I've seen some people were sad on Valentine's Day that they didn't even have a Valentine. They were saying that they were deleting all social media apps. But we have to think, would we even feel any type of way about Valentine's Day if we didn't look on social media and see that people were receiving gifts? I don't even know why Valentine's Day is a thing. I mean, I even received gifts and I'm appreciative of it. But even if I didn't, I was just like, okay, Valentine's Day is just a day. And next year can always come around and you might receive something next year. So if you've never received anything for Valentine's Day, don't feel sad. It's coming up, okay? Anyways, y'all follow me on Instagram at room for tea with two A's at the end. Like I always say, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed rest of your day.